As someone with 73 hours of Lethal Company under my belt, I'm always looking for new ways to enjoy the game. One of the most exciting prospects is the addition of new planets, and while the developer has yet to add any of their own, the modding community has already built a framework to make modded moons a reality. In this video, I'll be showcasing the first modded moon added to Lethal Company, Orion, by the developer SF Desat. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. I'll be going in completely blind, and I'll also be going in with a bit of a cold. Got a little sick over the past few days. So I apologize in advance for being so soft-spoken and out of it for the showcase. I'll be coming back to this planet with friends and a healthier mind and body in the future. If you want to see that, please subscribe to the channel. Regardless if you do, I hope you enjoy the video. So it looks like Orion's gonna be eclipsed. And on top of that, Orion also has a base cost of 100 credits so i used the lethal expansion mod which is requirement for the orion mod so i increased my starting credits from 60 to 125 the one not only let me go there on the first day but also i can buy myself a pro flashlight just for some visibility thing i wasn't gonna patch myself in the extra 35 that i would normally have if i didn't do this just because I don't feel like I need anything other than this, so let's see the bio. Planet scan unavailable, reportedly used to be home to an advanced civilization that is, is unknown. Proceed with caution and eclipse. Only in a care package on an eclipse moon usually, usually isn't advised. Probably wouldn't do this under normal circumstances, but you know, I'm gonna do it this time. It'll be okay. I do have my voice activation on though. I'm gonna be a little careful how I speak. First impression, it kind of reminds me of the Journey game. I'm also a little sick, so please, any goodbye, right? <clears throat> oh, I'm getting haunted. I might have to ditch flash. At least, at least find out where the main. It would be a shame if I, I just wasted that flashlight. But it's side mansion interior. Lighting is kind of nuts. See if I can come out with literally anything. I am being haunted, so. I have a bit of a timeline here. Oh. Okay. Well, um. That is definitely one way to. <laughs> be introduced to a planet, am I right? Didn't get to, um, to see all that much. Fortunately. Ghost, baboon hawks, nutcracker. I don't have the spawn table for this planet, so I don't really have much to go off of other than going in blind. I don't think it's going to be eclipsed this. Oh yeah, it's foggy this time. So it's going to be a little less dangerous, I think, outside. It will be a little hard to find my way around. So, if foggy is as foggy as I think it's gonna be, and it is, let's go. Hopefully the surface isn't too crazy. Got some Journey and Dead by Daylight vibes going on. Journey from the desert-like cairns. Then all the cars giving me junkyard style vibes. My goal right now is just to make a little bit of money enough for the 130 quota for the first one and hopefully be able to afford some flashlight. Looks like the fog doesn't reach the main entrance, so that's kind of cool. Okay. I wonder how the interior is different still. It's going to be a little bit rough running without light, but it's, you know, nothing we haven't done before. A little homemade flashbang. Something I don't really have the most luck with using. I had to face it myself. 
Um, we also got two mansions in a row. I wonder if this is going to be a mansion heavy map, which might not bode well for the run, but you know, do what we got to do. Like we circled back somehow. E the whoopee cushion, probably one of the more expensive whoopee cushions that I've seen. Yes, in credits. I know I definitely didn't clear that early. Well, but you know what? Pattern middle sheet, that's kind of rare to see the mansion. Put stuff outside. And go back in. I swear the lighting in here is like different than normal. Check these real quick. We're gonna start on this side because there's only one door this way. Okay. Mansions are definitely a lot scarier when you're in one by yourself. I wonder if the lighting is like this because it's a fan made mod. Looks like I have to go into that craziness down here. But I could also just play a little safe for this first one, right? Okay, well I think that's just a sign to secure what we have now. If I can find my way back to entrance. I don't think there's much reason to risk anymore. Only I can find my way back to the ship. Let's try. To, let's just put a dub on the board. Get things started. Something I will want to do on a future landing is find the fire escape. I don't remember if I turned the mimic mod on, but finding the fire escape from the inside could be pretty risky, especially since I play with the perfect mimics as well. There is counterplay to the perfect mimics, oh, so that's why I play with it, and I think it's a lot more interesting to do that than have visual cues to whether or not the mimic is safe or not. Because when you play with the regular Mimic mod, there are visual cues to show which ones are fake and which ones aren't. Some of them including like the, the door being a different shade of red. One of them having an eyeball in the red or in the light above the door. Sometimes you get different text prompts. I don't know all of them, but I know there's I think six okay, I don't know for sure, but there's like six differences that are possible. And my group has gotten keen for most of them, so I just turned on perfect mimics without telling anyone. Kind of funny. The counterplay to a perfect mimic is to know where the actual fire exits are, the entrances at least on the overworld, and to enter through them and remember that position. That way you can remember it for later use. Then if you find come across a different fire escape, then you know it's not the real one. Of. I also don't know where I'm going now. I'm a little bit lost here. Hopefully, I found my way back. Oh well. I kind of gotta go because of the giant. Not ideal. Why was there a giant? Oh, and there's the vent pop. We're good, right? Hmm. No, please. Hi. Oh, and there's a coil head. Oh, okay. 
No, I'm dead. God damn it, okay. <laughs> um... Well, I did find the fire exit. I don't think I'll be able to find it again. But, um... We'll see if I can even make it <laughs> that much farther. So it seems like, uh, this planet is pretty dangerous. The loot's good, though. The loot's good. If you look at the planet list, well, first off, I got a Stormy Orion, so I could very easily end this run by getting struck by lightning. But you also see a 102 Water Ridge on there. That's more just like a test planet. It doesn't seem like it's a real one that I'm supposed to go to. Included in the lethal expansion thing. Let's see if I could even get one quota on this new map. I'll we'll say that I am not as sharp as I could be right now. Cold definitely impacting a little bit of my gameplay and some of my talking ability, but it is what it is. This mod came out not too long ago and I figure I strike while the iron's still hot. At least now I can see where I'm going. All I gotta do is get 130 crap and then call it. Whether or not I'll actually be able to do that, the whole of it. Okay. I don't know what that place was. Didn't sound very friendly though. Having a flat, flat flashlight at the beginning would have helped, I think. At least with my sanity. Steering wheel. Don't really want metal objects and like too many of them. So we're, we'll just kind of drop these here. I know dropping stuff at the entrance isn't ideal because of hoarding bugs. I also don't even know what on rate of hoarding bugs is on this planet and if it's worth worrying about. If they are worth worrying about, then they can for sure just have my metal objects. I don't think I'll be too hurt over these, unless it's all that I find. Kind of looking for more high value non metal objects right now. Just. I think hair dryer is. and conducts electricity also. Fortunately. Painting would be cool. Would, would you know? Let me see if I can get anything else too. Nice. Might be worth a trip home. Depends how much of these are worth. I take the painting, the gift box, and the hair dryer. And the flask outside. Gotta test if it's conducted. Okay, the flask does conduct electricity. I don't know where. Does this conduct electricity though? Wow, wow, triple. Okay. We're gonna do it. I just gotta drop two things every trip. Oh shit. Gotta listen very carefully for that sound. Yeah, okay. Good thing that's the only thing that conducts electricity. Oh, 
swap these. Kind of a far run back to the ship. But it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. I heard something. I wonder if I would be safe under that building. Don't really want to test it on an experimental world. Let's not get struck by lightning when we're so close. At least put those down. Yourself slightly lighter. Okay, we make it. Nice. It doesn't matter if we get struck now. And we can go. We make it past one quota. Oh wow, there was a lot. 1900? So this is definitely a more advanced planet, or like an end game planet, despite what the cost would say. 1900, we encountered a ghost girl, a nutcracker, thumpers, coil heads, all just very dangerous stuff. Just as dangerous as Titan, maybe even more so because of the amount of space you have to traverse just to get from the ship to the main entrance. And I know I said that I was going to see how long I can, of a run I can do on this planet, but I think I'm just going to do one quota because the NyQuil is getting a lot harder than I thought it would. We do get a gift though. We can see what this gift was. 32 candy. The most valuable candy you'll ever see. But yeah, we were able to successfully do one quota despite that rough start on this new moon, Orion. If you want to go try this moon out for yourself, you can find it under the Orion mod. Orion by SF Desa. I'll link it in the description below and thanks for watching.